James, I mean in the back. And the well, it says, it says right they here. Call him, they call him Adonai, which is Lord. Uh, he uses the term the God of Jacob, the God of Isaac, the God of Abraham. Yeah. He uses the word God for himself. He also calls himself. Uh, but this is a cut right here. I just Yahweh. I just brought out a scripture. Yahweh. Yeah. yeah. You're really well, taking that passage out of context. No, no, no. I'm really just seeing it for what it is. We can't speak for Who the things. Who doesn't change. Yeah. So that, I mean, we we understand Acts 4 and 12, like there's neither salvation in any other form. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then the Apocrypha, it speaks about the prologue of the Apocrypha, which is in all the Catholic Bibles, but it isn't in your King James Bibles. It's, none, it's not in your revised versions, not in your, none of that. But Malachi 3 and 6 is a cut, for I am the Lord. When you, when you understand what capital L-O-R-D is, that is the textagramment of the Paleo Hebrew, mm -hmm. Genesis eleven and one There's is talking Hebrew, about. A Greek. I mean, it's not just Hebrew. But he, we know that uh, there's a book. There's a whole book in the Bible called the Hebrews. So oh well, yeah. He was a his his son was but, a Hebrew. You know, that, the that twelve tribes they that's are all the Hebrews. Hebrew language. I mean, it's not. Yeah, it's just uh, the same things. Uh, when they're spoken in their own language, they have. I mean, when they're changed to another language, they have not the same force in them. So, I mean, that's 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 what the whole apocrypha was talking about. That's why they don't have them in your everyday Bibles anymore, no because these Catholic these Catholics enslaved. They didn't want the Afro-American reading about who he was. You understand that? Do you study the apocrypha? Yeah, I got it in my bag. Hidden. Hidden. means The Deuterocanonical. Canonical. It's the it's the extra books that have been added by some individuals, but it's not accepted. Uh, oh, and if you well, I can confirm it because I got a mark in my forehead confirming the diadem and the crown that is received by the believers, the the ones dressed in white, man, the redeemed. You mean you have a metaphorical mark Ooh. on your forehead, or you have a literal mark on your forehead? Uh, I mean, you guys can see. I don't know. Am I lying? Am I am I lying? Do you see a scar? I, I have no idea what I'm looking for. I mean, I don't yeah. see no six, you six, six. In the so, of your forehead. I mean, I don't. Well, I don't know what I'm looking for. You know, what no, I'm thinking. I just have I this. Know. I have this scar. A but, scar. You know. Well, you I've, I've, I've showed thousands right? of people. Some, some see it, some don't. Uh -huh. Okay. That's how heaven and hev hell is going to be working. I mean, like some are blinded by they, they own. Oh. Okay. What they got going on? Me, he opened my eyes to the Godhead and Marvelous. the the. Mm -hmm. I mean Ezekiel sixteen and twelve. I you put, know, a, he opens I put a jewel on my forehead. And it's only through his word. Beautiful crown upon my. We gotta head. go by his word, period. Yeah, because he's not going. He's not going to to uh, reveal himself to me. Yeah, you gotta be. He's I mean, already done. You gotta, he's, not you gotta, he's not a respecter of person. He's not a respecter of person. He's already done it. When that which is perfect is come. Mm -hmm. Right. And it has come in the written form. I just took his picture. And it's part of Acts 17 and 30. And uh, it showed me about this face in my forehead. Okay, it's, I mean, but to what F? It's all in the Bible. I can I could show you guys. But... Uh, I've studied the Bible for 60 years, and I have never found in the scriptures where there's going to be, I quote, a physical mark on you there in that sense. Revelations uh, no, 7 no, and no, 2. No. Re Revelation Ezekiel is not... 9 and 4. A revelation. revelation. You can't go to Revelation. Not... That's a book of uh, 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 prophecy. Revelation was the whole revelation of the it's Messiah. Revelation. It's not... You have a package up here, too. Uh, I mean, it's it's revelant to the Messiah. That's what revelation is. It's yeah, it was the vision that John seen in John, John the one. That John saw, and he put it, it was a con right? continuance of it's what the Messiah was going to look is like. Exactly what Ezekiel receives is a vision uh -huh. mm -hmm. of the happenings surrounding the temple. Slay utterly old and young, but come not upon whom the mark is. And this what's is real. The mark about? Salvation. It's oh. all about salvation. Well, that's what it did. There's, got, there's a mark. Of, Cain the had a mark. In Ezekiel, what's the mark for? Who's the mark for? Set the mark upon the men that sigh and cry the abomination done in the midst thereof. Exactly. What's the what's done in the midst thereof? There's devil worship in Sunday service. But was there a literal person walking around marking people with a literal mark? No, there's an angel going through the midst of Jerusalem. Yeah. So not and a physical mark, not an actual literal mark on 
people's foreheads. So they well, that's going to hey, that, that's going to mess people up though when they find out Second Timothy four verse eight. Those that love his appearing, they should receive the same crown, man. Mm -hmm. This is why our our, our trial is more precious than surprise. gold. That's why our, our trial is more precious than gold. We're trying to tell people about suicide. That is that's the high calling of the Lord, the high prize. The, like uh, in Philippians, I press towards the high mark, the calling of God. You know, the prize. Eternal life. You yes. know, yeah. Suicide I turn, is a part of that. You gotta got up this this corruptible must put on incorrupt, uh, incorruption mm -hmm. in a moment of a twinkling of an eye the last trump we should all be called you know that's when we'll be changed yeah that's, from this that, that's real moral life to, to a, a, a spiritual one mm -hmm. and yeah. because there'll be no flesh in heaven mm -mm. we Even teach because that. of our life in christ john mm -hmm. 4 and 23 it's a spiritual world the hour cometh where he he's seeking mm -hmm. the, the true worshipers to worship him in the spirit and truth um, the Native Americans that were genocide in this country, and then the Afro Americans that were enslaved in this country, they still got a story for why slavery happened. Why were they being lynched on trees? When it goes back to the Bible, curses he that hangeth on a tree. You know, they they hung the Messiah by a testimony. They hung the Messiah. So we were we were killed the same way. The prophets, all the the, the people of the Bible, it was. John was beheaded on a birthday, but we're still celebrating birthdays in America. It's paganism. It's, it's wicked. I mean, it's just, yeah, we're sleeping outside, you know, and uh, the, the, the apocalypse says, be ready in the last, oh, in the end of the world, be ready to see your, your, your savior, your shepherd. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. The last days last as long as, until the Lord returns. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got to see why it's a blessing to be alive, you know, be like, people can't praise his name in the grave, man, you know, and in the history that you, when you go on the internet, we're in the information age right now, so like, all these testimonies and these stories are popping up about why are they covering up this, the, the paleo Hebrew, not the, not the Hebrew that is spoke over there in Israel right now, but the ancient Hebrew that has been covered up, demolished, and, and people act like they don't know what we're talking about. So Yahweh, there was no vows in the ancient Hebrew. So like, his name can't, he can't have no E's, I-O-U's in his name. So like, we've seen over like a periodic of 600, what, 700 years. Well, just because they didn't write the letters doesn't mean they didn't have them inferred. You're talking about the written word as opposed to the spoken language. And they're like, what? Right. And then those are different things. We just know Zephaniah 3 and 9. He's going to make the world call upon him in what consent. He's going to have only one name. It's not going to change. Uh, James 2 and 19. Even the devils know that there's only one God. So for all this, uh, we're seeing it right now. People are going to have to make a choice. Um, like Daniel, the, the den of lions, you know. When uh, you separate yourself from the, the I guess the uh, the world, I mean you're gonna you're gonna go through these afflictions. And one of those afflictions is trying to tell people how his name never changes. Um, he's a, he's a. I just think you need a little bit more to demonstrate that biblically that's a principle, because I don't see it biblically. Biblically, I see that his name does change or that he utilizes different concepts behind his name because it communicates different elements of who he is. His personality, his character, his purpose, his love, none of those things change. But for him not to change in any way, shape, or form, uh, you're ex it seems like you're extrapolating pretty heavily into his name because you're making his name the point. His name was just something given to us. Mm. It is, Something that we can connect. Yeah. Yeah. We don't need a name. Yeah. I think. Uh, oh, I was writing his name in my dream. I think it's a big deal. Uh, what is it? First Corinthians six and twenty six. He that have the revelation, he that have the psalm, he that have the hum. Do all things on the edify edification. So I mean, there's so many scriptures in the Bible. Uh, are you talking about fourteen again? It's something like. 
there's, there's somewhere, um, yeah, I'm not trying to be a stumbling block to anybody. If it is, if there's so many proofs in the Bible and so many verses where he says, exalt his name, exalt oh, his name, uh, magnify his me. name. Mm -hmm. When you see all these scriptures, you know, it's just, it's a no brainer. Um, they, it's even in the Psalms uh, 83 how they changed the name of everything out here. I mean, they changed the name in the Bibles. I mean, we got to understand at least the at least. Are you talking about the anglization of, of on a mass scale. Names? On a mass scale, the world has forgotten his name. Let's just be real. Well, John's name is not really John. Right. Like, so, I mean, it's see, not, right? I should, he has a Hebrew name. Yeah. Oh, or he yeah. has a Greek name. Yeah, yeah. And it, it's like I don't know if you ever like did Shadrach, that. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Yeah. Those and I as Ryan Michelle. Yeah. And they all had different names. Mm -hmm. you know, but they were also okay that a new culture was calling them by a different thing. Mm -hmm. Like you know, I'm called by, wasn't a deal. by by two different names. Well, really two because I have a name that my parents gave me, mm -hmm. and I have a name that my children gave me, Mom. That's not Barbara. It's two names. I have the same nanny and the same person sitting here. Granny. Granny. Yeah. I'm a granny. Yeah. Look at that. Aunt Aunt Barb. Oh, oh, look at the names I've got. Mm -hmm. Aunt, Aunt Barb. Some people yes. call her Aunt Barb and some people call her Aunt Barb. She ain't Barb. No. Ain't Barb. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, if she ain't Barb, then who is she? Miss no. Barb. We got we to get started on our Bible study, Matthew. And Thank you for coming in. Yeah, just trying to give right. you a push start. <laughs> Because I was, I yeah, I was kidnapped by the. I was kidnapped for seeing the. I mean, I was kidnapped after having a heavenly experience on my back porch. Was telling people about what what UFOs are. Aliens ain't what they you think they are. They it goes back to the vision of Ezekiel. A lot of the prophets. Uh, Daniel's eight eighteen. He had a, a a visitation of the the archangel Gabriel. And he, I mean, he lifted me up. I was down, and he lifted me up right. I'm like, man, this is, this is real. And then after, uh, after that, like, I'm speaking like I'm speaking now. I was literally brought to the a bar in this city, Phil's Corner, and that's where I seen the devil. I had, a, I had an older gentleman in an NA or AA meeting at Oakland confirm that that was the devil because he said he seen Jesus in the bar room. I've been hearing these stories up in in, in the city for over some years now. And and the Bible it says like the Messiah said he says I'm I'm not, I'm not I'm not uh he's flesh and bone. He's not he's not a spirit. So what I seen in that bar room was according to Matthew 24 and 24 and Psalms 80 uh 35 and 11 and Psalms 21 and 11. So I'm just out here trying to, you know, like I said, we got to we got testimonies we got to bring to the people. A lot of people not believing in the Bible, but that that it played out like a movie, you know. So people wanted to put me up in Hollywood, I, you know. That's not what we on though. Know? Just uh, Jeremiah, twenty-three and twenty-seven. A lot of pastors have scattered the sheep. That's why that. That's why Israel, like the real Israel, is a people, not a place. So, you know, I'm being bombed over there right now. But the sheep are scattered upon all mountains of the earth. And, you know, that's why he, he got us out here all over the world right now. Yeah, his name. For real.